big box. Marvel Collector Core Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Let's open it. Patch and the pin. Uh, the patch. We got Star Lord's mug on there. His his noggin, his head. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that one. And then the pin is Gamora. She got the hair flow going on. She got the flow going on. She's the most deadliest woman in the universe. But she's got to have good looking hair. Looking mean. Looking green. So yeah, we're off to a good start with this box. Star Lord patch, Gamora pin. Theme for the next box is going to be Spider-Man Homecoming. Looking forward to that one. We just had the Spider-Man box, which is just straight up Spider-Man, but this one is going to coincide with the movie release in July, and uh, I'm looking forward to this one. I hope they get a little weird. I hope they get a little crazy. They give us something different, uh, some cool Vulture stuff, not just straight up all Spider-Man stuff in the box, so I hope they get a little creative. Come on, Funko. Get weird on us. So yeah, looking forward to that one. It's getting hot. Gotta take this off. Whew. Better. Next thing out of the box is the comic, the variant cover of Secret Empire. We've got Groot and Rocket. Baby, uh, baby Groot and Rocket. They are jamming out to some, uh, some music. Probably some 80s rock, some soft rock. Hollow Notes. Please be Hollow Notes. It's gotta be Hollow Notes. Uh, yeah, very so cute. Looks kind of like, uh, like a children's book. Yeah, that's the comic. This is definitely a bigger sized box, so I was thinking maybe we were getting a mug, maybe we were getting another uh, another stupid hat. But nope, it's definitely a t-shirt. Get out of here. All right, I like it. I like the design on this. I like the dark colors, uh, I like the purple and the kind of uh, orangish red. Uh, and you got the whole gang there. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rockets, Mantis, Yondu, Groot. The whole gang. I like that design. That is actually really cool. That's cool. I approve. Again, I don't approve of the, uh, the size of these shirts, how they make them so big, but I like the design. There's like two more things in the box uh, next. Is the pop? I already know what the pop is because for some unknown reason, Funko likes to post the uh, the pops now on their Facebook page. Just spoiling the box for us before the box is even closed. Why why are you why are you doing that, Funko? That's that's really stupid. Your sales must be low. You're trying to boost them up. That's stupid. Stop doing that. Uh, but anyway, the pop is rockets with a little baby Groot on top. Uh, I know they're both bobblers, and this is uh, this is actually a cool design. Kind of sick of seeing Rockets and uh, Groot. They have way too many pops. Cool characters. Rocket, he makes an okay pop. He just looks kind of weird because it's, it's a, he's a raccoon and he doesn't really translate well to plastic. Um, but I like the design. They, uh, he took some time. They put some thought into it. It's, uh, it's an inspired design. You got the double bobbles. When was the last time we saw a double bobble? Ever? Anyway, this is a cool pop. I like it, even though they spoiled it for me. For no reason. And then the final item out of the box is big. It's a Dorb ride. Dorb's ride. That's the Milano. Star-Lord in it. This is, this is pretty cool. This kind of makes up for them spoiling the pop. Because this, uh, this is cool. And it's better than a pop ride. Because those, those things are ridiculous. They're big. They're bulky. Uh, this is cool. I got to get it out of the box. Yeah, check it out. There's a little wing stuck in the plastic. I can't even get it out. Got it. Check it out. Star-Lord and the Milano. Little bit of a assembly you had to do, uh, but this is really badass. They put a lot of thought and detail into this. Uh, definitely the coolest Dorbs product that I have and uh, one of the coolest Funko things that I've got. It'll be sitting on my shelf now. It is, uh, it's pretty badass. I gotta give them props for it. I give Funko a lot of shit for their uh, subscription boxes because sometimes, sometimes they just do some dumb stuff, but this is cool. I like this a lot. It's gonna look badass on my shelf. I dig it. I'm happy with it. It's Star-Lord. He's so cute. He's so happy. And he's in his Milano. Gonna be flying around space. Going on all sorts of adventures. Some bad, some good, maybe a little bit of both. So that is that for the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 box. I am really happy with this box. The, uh, the door ride with the Milano and Star-Lord was awesome. 
Um, the pop was really cool, even though they spoiled it for me. Um, the shirt has a cool design. Uh, Patch and pen were cool. Comic was cool, I guess. And uh, you got a little big ass baby Groot head on the uh, on the box here. So yeah, I'm really happy with this box. Uh, Funko uh, seems like they took their time with this one. They put some thought into it. They got a little creative. And I like that. That's what I want out of these subscription boxes. I want them to let loose. Give us something cool. Give us something different. And they gave us that with this one. I'm happy with it. I'm not getting the Wonder Woman box because I just think that one is going to suck. So don't look forward to a video from me unboxing the Wonder Woman box. Um, I've got a movie review coming up for Free Fire. I'm getting back into making videos. I got real lazy there for a while. No real rhyme or reason. I'm sorry about that. I just, just got out of the loop, but I'm back. Um, so what did you think of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 box? Tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And, uh... See you, bye.